Today I'm going to be talking about exactly why this is it and what I mean by that. So, this is it guys. This is it. You, right there. This is it. Okay? This is all we have in life. As achievers, we often get so caught up in our, our vision of the future and attaching so much to the future that we forget that all we have is the present moment. Okay? And more importantly than that, well, there's nothing really more important than that, is there? You know? <laughs> All we've got is the present moment. But on, additionally, people think that when they achieve a goal, when they reach a certain reality, that they will be happy. That they then they will be happy. Then they will be fulfilled. Okay. Now, what that does in your brain, and I've spoken about this in other videos, is it trains your brain to. Literally, it, it strengthens. New, uh, synaptic pathways in your brain neurological pathways in your brain and it, it, it make, turns them from pathways into highways right? and these pathways are the pathways that are saying I'll be happy when, I'll be happy in the future I'm not happy now, I'll be happy in the future I'll be happy in the future so when you ar arrive at your goal, your destination your future your brain is wired to still be I'll be happy in the future when I hit this goal and then you're like, why am I not happy? And then that's why lots of people get depressed when they hit a goal. Because they're like, well, I thought this would make me happy. It won't. You must express gratitude for what we have now and realize that all we have is the present moment if you do want to be happy. I was reading a book earlier, Self-Reliance. Well, it's not a book, it's an essay. Um, by Ralph Wald Emerson and in it he talks about the folly of men who um, look back and and lament the past or look forward to the future with glee when all that exists is the present moment another text you can check out is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle Eckhart Tolle um, the audiobook is excellent. I would highly recommend it. So, in fact, I have the book here. I want to find the exact wording for you guys because it's very good. I've got my cat here, just chilling. And my other cat there, just chilling. So, he talks about... Um, oh, yeah, this this is nice, right? So... Okay. He is ashamed. So man is timid and apologetic. He is no longer upright. He dares not say, I think, I am, but quotes some saint or sage. He is ashamed before the blade of, gr the blade of grass or the blowing rose. These roses under my window make no reference to former roses or to better ones. They are for what they are. They exist with God today. There is no time to them. There is simply the rose. It is perfect in every moment of its, of its existence. This right now, now this. Before a leaf bud has burst, its whole life acts. In the full blown flower, there is no more. In the leafless root, there is no less. Its nature is satisfied. And, it's, and, it, and it satisfies nature in all moments alike this right this is it but man postpones or remembers he does not live in the present but with re but with reverted eye laments the past or heedless of the riches that surround him stands on tiptoe to see the future he cannot be happy and strong until he too lives with nature in the present above time I'm going to repeat that last bit again because it's really powerful and it encapsulates what I'm saying in this video. But man postpones or remembers. He does not live in the present, but with reverted eye laments the past. Or heedless of the riches that surround him, stands on tiptoe to, to foresee the future.
heedless of the riches that surround him now, stands on tiptoe to foresee the future. He cannot be happy and strong until he too lives with nature in the present, above time. So guys, so you, you watching this video, don't just, don't let this be one of the videos where you watch and you do not change and you do not take action. If this resonates with you, if this is reaching you at a time in your life where you are ready to receive this and this resonates with you, then I invite you to actually incorporate this into your way of living. Because it's very, it is one thing to say, this is it, right? I got this from, um, uh, Eckhart, uh, no, um, T. Harv Eker, right? He says, this is it. This is it, guys. So if this is all there is. So if this does resonate with you, I, I invite you to incorporate this into your lifestyle. And how do you do that? Truly express gratitude for every moment and feel amazing. And live each moment, each day as if it is your last day on earth. Because it could very well be. And because when you do that, you'll be living from a place of I'm enjoying today for what it is and you'll find you'll be inspired to work right people people fear oh but if I live completely in the moment if I don't continually look at, look at the future and you know use uh, pain as motivation use pleasure of the future as mo motivation if I don't do that then I won't work doesn't work like that you will be inspired to work when you don't do anything you'll be inspired to work it is in the human psyche to work so that has at least been my experience and many others as well so try it guys try it and I'll uh, I'll talk to you talk to you in the next video just put down in the comments quickly exactly how you're going to incorporate this right if this does resonate with you um and if you've got any other ideas you want to put in the comments feel free um and i, I you know I, I read all the comments i reply to the ones that are relevant we i engage in discussion i help you guys out so just put them all down in the comments below and we can talk so um until next time have a great day i love you um and and just keep killing it keep keep loving life i'll see you soon